Ruth here, and this is Shout Out Sunday number 22, which I'm guessing should have been last week, but I kind of forgot. And yeah, also, uh, I forgot to post anything yesterday, and what I wanted to post, I didn't actually edit yet, so I spent yesterday editing the pile of stuff I recorded, and I didn't, uh, when I finished all of them, I um, noticed it was nearer to, uh, well, the next day, so I didn't bother with that. But I'll do, I think, two videos today. So this video and an actual video. Video. You know. Anyway, so this is it, obviously, for shoutouts. So let's get on to it then, shall we? So, first up, we have... Oh, well, first, obviously, huge thank you for all of you that subscribe and commented consistently. And um, now I'm on... What was it? 395 subs, so five more subs, and I'll announce the 400 sub giveaway winner. So, look forward to that. Uh, you know, share, whatever. If you want me to, uh, you know, do the giveaway as quickly as possible, get that, get that sub count up there. Huh. Um, <clears throat> so, moving on. Pokemon Extreme, Getty Images, Shoe and River, Umbreon's TCG, Pokemon Square, Random Gaming Gamer, Dark Magician 81, Ming Tube, Gotta Collect Them All, Hashtag All Squad, with uh, obviously the addition of Mr. Stocks, uh, Toy Stop Shop, and Wings Dragon of Raw. So those are the people that did, you know, comment and stuff. Now here are the people I bought slash one from recently. There are a couple new ones, so I'll add them to like when the package actually comes. Okay, so here we have J underscore the underscore Pokemon underscore lover, and she's got an underscore sales page as well, which you'll see all links are in the description below, by the way, if you didn't notice. Um, Pokemon Trader UK 2017. All of his sellings are going to be on eBay, but it's his uh, eBay link is in his Instagram, which his Instagram is in the link below. Uh, 614 underscore collectibles and trainer underscore Cody. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, awesome people. I did recently buy something from trainer Cody and, well, it hasn't obviously come yet, but because I only recently finished paying because I kind of accumulated quite a bit of uh, bundle slash bulk of uh, a lot of uh, cool stuff which I'll show you in a separate video which won't be in a mini Instagram haul Poke haul because it's not going to be mini it's going to be big so it will be a video all of its own so look forward to that when that comes um let's see Kanto underscore collectibles which I think that video has been up Maybe. Actually, no, it's in the Instagram haul number six, which I haven't finished yet. I'm still waiting for one slot to put in there. Um, Pokemon underscore John, which you should have seen that massive Poke haul that video went up during this last week, which was huge. And I had to put some of the stuff in a different box because I didn't have anywhere to put it because I didn't clean off my desk. I put loads of the terrarium stuff on my desk, but I still have a few bits and pieces in a box because I have nowhere to put it. Okay, so next one is Hamilton Pokemon Plant, Pokey Plant. Now, his I think was in the previous Instagram haul, but I recently bought something from him too, which is quite a bit of stuff. So hopefully, it won't take too long coming. Um, I guess I could do this other one. I didn't actually add it to my list, but I'll add it now. Um, this one that I'm talking about is Comic Skies Pins. Now, they've got their own website as well as an Instagram. But, obviously I haven't put their video up yet. And it'll be a, probably a Wednesday one. So... It is two pins, which 
coincide with Pokemon and Sailor Moon, which I still need to put up the other pin video from the other person. But anyway, I will get back to that. I won't tell you what the pins are because I'll just ruin the video. Ruin the surprise. Well, I'll ruin the surprise, won't we? Okay, so I'll just add that one to the list. So I uh, read off the list, otherwise I completely forget who I'm shouting out. Okay. So obviously, leave a comment below if you want a uh, shout out or if you want a shout out you can comment any of my videos from now until two weeks from now i say two weeks but i think it was three weeks last time because i forgot um i really shouldn't keep track of the dates but yeah um so ask for a shout out or just comment at least twice in my videos until the next shout out video um, I can shout out, obviously, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, any other social medias. Um, just send a link to that page in my email below, and I'll add it to my video. Or just send it to me, or just ask me. Like, you, you get my drift, yeah? So now, moving on to announcements. Oh, first of all, including the announcements, the Hedwig pin finally came. That was part of the uh, crate number 12 for Wizarding World crate. So I'll put the video of that here. And this is the missing Hedwig pin. Wizarding World crate box. So as you see, very, very nice. You can finally see the uh, Harry Potter like, sort of address thing. Uh, yeah, you can see it says Harry Potter, but it's more squiggle. And while I'm at it, the next clip you're going to see is the one reverse hollow energy that I finally managed to buy. Just a little clip saying I got the reverse hollow energy, the half energy reverse hollow that I was missing. Now, moving on from all of that, the Pokemon Community Day was on my part would be a slight disappointment because first of all I don't really like that Pokemon anyway so I'm not too bothered but I did catch a couple maybe two or three I evolved one and I'll put the pictures up as we go along but the reason I didn't actually go out and actually catch anything I just stayed in bed because my stomach wasn't feeling so good so I didn't want to go out and you know yeah so I didn't really participate this time. I did use two incense so I can lure some Pokemon to me while I was sitting in bed. No, I did because like I was already raring to go, put my alarm for 940 so I'd have enough time to get up and you know get the wheelchair out and stuff but then my stomach started not feeling so good so I decided to stay in bed. And well, that was a good thing that the Pokemon wasn't really interesting for me this time. Though so Matang or Metagross would be good to have in the party, but at least I evolved it once. That's that's fine for me. So yeah, that's that's those things. Um There isn't really um anything else. Well obviously I'll have to recheck what the Akibento theme and anime involved would be. So I guess probably should have opened the window or web page before starting the section of the video. But uh, as
as it is loading, uh, just briefly going back to the loot crate. Obviously, he's still the current thing there. Um, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting thing, I bet. And I actually ordered the Lumos uh, Newt's uh, wand uh, pin thingy, which that was pretty. That was pretty nice. And obviously, you know, I have a pin collection going for like you know Pokemon, anime, and. Harry Potter, so I thought, you know, it's for a good cause, and it's been to add to my collection, so I bought one. Hasn't obviously come yet, but I get an email saying it is on the way. So yeah, it should be awesome, because it's got, you know, New Swan and an Okami on it and stuff. Anyway, if you want to order one, um, I think I'll have to find the link to the page, but I think if I remember, I will put it in the description below. And it's not that expensive. Well, for UK, it's like five ninety nine and one ninety nine postage, so a total seven pounds something. So yeah, it's not that expensive, and it is for charity, so a good cause. Okay, now the page is loaded. Back to Akibento. Uh, this month's theme will. For the next month's theme is Fight. And it's got My Hero Academia, Naruto, and One Piece. Okay, I only watched or interested in Naruto. I've never been a fan of One Piece and never got into My Hero Academia for some reason. So my brother says that I should be interested in it or something. So but I've never really been interested in... Maybe it's just the artwork that annoys me. I have no idea. But I've never been interested in it. So I will skip this month again, unfortunately. But I guess it's also a plus if I have less things. Subscription box, then more money towards Pokemon cards. Anyway. Uh, I still need to find a good... A good uh, subscription box for Pokemon. Because obviously the Pokeblock one is discontinued and I never got a refund for the boxes that I paid for or the merch I paid for, so that still annoys me. Like total radio silence there. So, anyway. What else? Um, let's see, they don't have the next Pokemon Go Community Day Pokemon advertised yet, so that's nothing new yet. Oh, there is the... Oh man, how do you say it? Uh... Zero... Aura? Zero... Aura? Is that how you say it? What's that? Electric thing looking uh, thing zero or I think that's how you say it I'm not sure but obviously in the UK it's available at game I still need to get it so I'll do a, a I don't know you know like one of my mini videos or slideshows of what that or of what I got of it from the code but, uh, yeah. And, uh, next month is, uh, November's, uh, you know, the legendary Pokemon distribution thing. And that's, I believe, is the last one, which will be Lugia or Ho-Oh, depending on which game you got. Um, I think that's all of the things. Oh, yes. Currently, I'm putting together a bulk bundle of 500. There'll be a mix of trainers, mainly Pokemon, and some energies. Since it's a 500, it'll, it's going to be a mainly monster base. But there will be a good, well, at least a sizable, or a good, less sizable chunk of trainers and energies to balance it out. 
Not much energies. Because people can get those, you know. I do have a separate listing on my eBay for the sealed packets of, what is it, 45 or 65 energy cards? I can't remember how many is in it, but it's in my listing. And, yeah, so that's on my eBay. I'm currently putting together the 500, so, like, if you're interested, you can, you know, drop me a, a DM on Instagram or Facebook or even on uh, eBay. I'm also trying to sort out good prices for singles that I'm going to, you know, for hollows, ultra rares and stuff, and reverse hollows. So I'll sell those separately. The bulk is mainly common, uncommon, and rares. No hollows or whatever, just... I'm just trying to think of a good price for it. Because, like... Um... Figuring out good prices is a bit annoying. And also their shipping. I do have a 2000 bundle that has loads of stuff, plus a few little free bits and bobs. And that is for quite expensive, and mainly only for UK, because the shipping is going to be mass. Well, it's not that bad for UK shipping, because they changed the small parcel weight limit and stuff. But, um... For you, for international, you have to message me if you want to buy it. I would insist, or mainly sell with Tract or Assign For, or you know those things. But it will be very expensive. Um. Also, I have code cards for sale sale on my eBay as well. I use like most of them range from 10 to 30p, so I did it in a bundle, so total is 113 code cards. It includes, I think it was 90 packs, yeah, here it is. Okay, we got 23 codes from the box, blister, or ETB, or tins, and there are 90 pack codes. Which, like, includes 28 Ultra Prism, 19 Celestial Storm, there's some um, Dragon Majesty in there. So, loads of S, uh, S Sun and Moon uh, series. A couple XY series, too. And Shining Wizard. I'm not really sure what series that would come under, but that's, like, a thing of its own. Anyway, I have been jabbering on, rambling. Who knows how long, because I've separated these voice clips in, yeah, bits. So anyway, thank you for listening. Like and subscribe for more. Ring that doorbell. Over and out.